Hi, I'm Mike Graham with Showy Professional and welcome to Light Snacks. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the best way to get to around 4,000K using a moving head spot fixture with CMY, a little bit of CTO, and the CRI filters. So let's go ahead, jump in, and take a look. So for our example today, we're using the Maverick Storm 2 profile. Um, this effect can be achieved with any fixture with CMY color mixing. So spot profile, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we're gonna get our baseline here and check our readings. What is important is color temperature, the delta UV, and the CRI value, which is represented on this meter by RA. So we're getting a baseline of around 7,000 Kelvin. Delta UV is in a good position, and we're getting a CRI of 72.3. So getting down to 4,000 Kelvin with just using our CRI filter and CTO filter is pretty straightforward. Um, our CTO filter is in just over halfway at this point. So taking a look at this measurement, our color temperature is just under 4,000 Kelvin. Our delta UV, we're a little bit off the black body curve. We could probably improve that a little bit. And our CRI value is 85.5. So now let's go ahead and take a look at how this looks when we're using the magenta and yellow filters instead of the CTO. Getting down to 4,000 Kelvin using the CRI filter in combination with the yellow and magenta filter gives you a little bit more precision because you have a little bit more color to deal with than just using the CTO filter. So by using this method, we're just a little over 4,000 Kelvin, which we could dial in more precise if, if we wanted to. Our delta UV, you can see that we're a lot closer to the black body curve now, so that means that our color rendering is a lot more precise than it was before. Our CRI value is just is still over 80, so we're in good shape there. And to get to achieve this look, we're using about 10% or so of magenta and about 50% of our yellow flags. So using the yellow and magenta filters gives us a much more precise way to get to a specific color temperature staying close to the black body curve, and maintaining a good CRI. We hope you've picked up some cool new tips and tricks on how to get the most out of your CMY system and your moving heads. Until next time, I'm Mike Graham, and thanks for watching.